What's up people? This is Rishon Yakshans here. Now we are going to do the Dave the Useless Creepy Pasta about Sonic the Hedgehog. Um this now. <laughs> All right, so sorry about the um, the TV. So we are, we are going to do a reaction video of Dave the Useless again. It's called Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, so let's get this reaction on the road. Back in 1987. Sega was developing a 16-bit console entitled Project GS-16. It eventually became the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. Various test games were made for this console to see if the hardware actually worked. One of the test games had a ball that rolled on curved grounds and hit enemies. Sega kept the idea in mind just in case they wanted to turn it into an actual game. In August of 88, a meeting was held. Sega noticed that nobody really cared about Alex Kidd anymore, as most people preferred Mario. The developers were then told to make a game with a fresh, new concept. Various mascots were also doodled, one of which was a hedgehog drawn in the style of old-timey rubber hose cartoons. This was approved by Sega. Various test cartridges were made. Sega approved these carts as well and started development on Sonic 1. Because of this, Various prototype cartridges were made, and I happen to own one of the prototype carts. It's an October 1989 build of the game, to be specific, and this would be a really cool find, and I'd be happy to dump the ROM online for you guys to play, if it was legal. And also, if it didn't scar me for life. Allow me to explain. I was shopping at Goodwill for some old Sega Genesis games. My nephew's birthday was coming up, so I decided that it'd be nice to introduce him to the stuff that I played as a kid. Scurrying through the store, I found a cartridge. The cart had the label scratched off, but the store label said it was Sonic 1. I shrugged it off, as this was probably due to aging. I brought it home for a test spin. When I booted it up, there was no Sega screen or title screen. Just white text that said, For internal use only. Demo build 10-15-89. It cut to the game. The level was titled Happy Hills, and I could see why. The scenery looked an awful lot like Green Hill Zone from the Game Gear port of Sonic 2, but bubblier. Happier. The music was cheerful as it gets. It reminded me of the Mystery Science Theater 3000 theme song. Sonic's design was also a bit different. His muzzle and arms were white. His shoes were a bit shorter and rounded. There was no white streak on them either. There were various unused enemies as well, such as a beaver who could turn wood into sharp projectiles, the infamous Splats the Rabbit, an unused frog enemy, and an earlier design for the Motobug. After thinking about it for a few minutes, I realized that I was playing a Sonic 1 prototype. The level had a great design, and I finished it in a minute. But then Act 2 happened. The scenery looked dull. The plants and trees were dying and starting to droop. The grass was now gray. The badniks were now slightly rusted, malfunctioning. The music was slowed down and sounded a tiny bit corrupted. Sonic looked a bit nervous as well. However, this didn't stop me from playing it. It just got me curious. I then saw a red ring. Having no idea what it did, I jumped and I got it. It teleported me to Act 3, and... That was the worst one of them all. The scenery was twisted, distorted... The palette was just grays and reds. The clouds were melding, and the trees and flowers had crudely drawn happy faces on them. There were no badniks present, either. The music was a slowed-down 16-bit loop of Don't Worry, Be Happy by Bobby McFerrin. Sonic looked absolutely terrified. He was shaking, and I swear to God, I could see a single tear come out of his eyes. But I had to be brave. 
I walked and saw such messages as be happy, think happy thoughts, smile, and isn't it great to be happy? After a minute, the music started slowly speeding up and the background did a weird warping effect like the water in the labyrinth zone. This went on for at least five minutes. And then Sonic just stood there. The music came to an abrupt halt. Sonic slowly started walking towards some spikes. He then jumped into them and a loud scream played. And the game then reset. After a few minutes of trying to understand all of this, all I could think was, what the hell did I just play? Was this some kind of weird, sick developer joke? Was Sonic originally targeted to adults? I kept asking myself these questions and similar ones. Upon doing some research, I learned that Sega disapproved of the game but wanted the character to stay. The infamous Tokyo Toy Show tech demo was then made. The developer, who was responsible for Happy Hills Act 2 and 3, they were put into an asylum. And then shot a week later. So, okay, that was our first video right there from Sonic the Hedgehog. So, after that, Sonic the Hedgehog is like a hedgehog who play who does run fast. It's like Sonic when you just do um, like running or you just do jumping. He does jump like 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 in circles. And furthermore, Sonic the Hedgehog is like a game. So this so. This is Roshan Reaction here live on YouTube. And always, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye!